All right. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. It's so great to be with all of you here today. It is. And uh, Pastor Donald had a great idea for us to get in the Word together with you uh, this coming New Year through some devotions. Right. So maybe you have already the Bible app on your phone or on your iPad or whatever smartphone or tablet that you use. But there's this really awesome feature on there where there's a ton of devotions you can use. I think we call it like a free Netflix version of devotions when we're looking at the other day. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Yeah, just a ton of different topics. And the great thing is, is you can invite friends. Like I can invite Pastor Ward to do the same devotion I'm doing. And then you can have a talk it over section on there where you can talk with those that are doing the Bible study, the devotion with you. So we thought it might be a great idea to do that with all of you guys. Yeah, so you can, uh, pastor's going to do a devotion, I'll do a devotion, and uh, we're going to start out with a just a short one, like a seven-day devotion, where we can be together for a whole week, and uh, then we can kind of chit-chat a little bit on comments as we go through each day. Um, so, Pastor, what was the one that you chose? I'm doing seven things the Bible says about anxiety, because I feel there's a lot of anxiety in the world right now with what we see going on in our nation, the virus, just even in our own personal lives, there's a lot of anxiety. So I'm really looking forward to diving into that. What are you that's, doing? Oh, that's a great topic. And so right on. I chose a title called Love Like Jesus with R.C. Sproul. And it's based on the 1 Corinthians 13 chapter, uh, the love chapter. So I feel like we really have to learn how to love one another as Christ loved us. So you know, it's a very familiar text at weddings and all of that, but uh, just to learn more about love. I think it's also a very timely devotion as well. Yeah, I hope so. Um, so won't you join us? Uh, we're going to start next Monday, right? Yeah, next Monday, January, is that the 13th? Um, well, next Monday it might be the 11th. 11th. I yeah, that's, I think it's the 11th. It's January 11th. Yeah, I can't do dates. I got my <laughs> dates all thrown off. And and actually, so to help you guys out, right after this, we'll have a little video demonstrating. I screen recorded my phone, showing you how to find this app, make sure you have the right one. And then you could add either Pastor or myself. I think me, you can either look up Donald Antor, or maybe it's by my email, donaldantor at gmail.com. Yeah, mine is probably by my email, wshilf at hotmail.com. Uh, otherwise, just type in my name. Hopefully, it'll come up. Right, and both of ours... Our profiles on there have our picture. So if you don't see our picture, it's not us. Yeah. And so, yeah, we're looking forward. And once you add us, we'll send the invite to that. And you can let either of us know. You can do just mine, just pastors, both of them, or whatever. Yeah. And so after this first set of seven days, Pastor and I will choose maybe a longer one uh, where we could commit together a longer time. But uh, hopefully it's a topic that you would enjoy. But, you know, this is something that you could do with your family and your friends uh, just to keep in the word and keep discussion going. That's why we really are excited about this tool. Right. And like I said, one of the best things is it's free. So you don't have to pay anything. Just download the app. And you can even maybe if you want to do one on your own as well, because you can do as many plans at once that you want to do. Yeah. So, Pastor, we could... It doesn't matter what time of day that we read the devotion. No, right? if you're a person who does your devotions in the morning or evening, it doesn't matter. And, you know, it just says day one, and then you kind of will have your devotion and whatever, maybe scripture readings. You just kind of hit a little button at the bottom, and it advances you, and then finally says done, and then you get a little bar. And for those that like little incentives, you can get badges when you complete different things. Wow, this sounds fun. Yeah, so there's a little bit of incentives. Not that the badges really do anything for you, <laughs> but it's that pride, right? Well, they make you feel good. Make you feel good. <laughs> well, we hope you can join us on this fun time in the Word, uh, just uh, daily devotions. And we hope that it will be a blessing to you. Thank you, and God bless. Take care.